Welcome to my presentation on the Kayata Silk Moth. My name is Peyton Smith, and I hope you enjoy. Here we can see an image of the beautiful Kayata Silk Moth. Its wings are very large, and it has the traditional fuzzy, spiky antenna of all silk moths. It is also dark in color, which helps it blend in in its nighttime environment. Because it's a moth, it is nocturnal. The first question we have today about the Kayata Silk Moth is, where do they live? On this map, you can see that the environments for the Cayeta silk moth range from southern Texas to western Arizona. The Cayeta silk moth prefers environments that have thorny scrub, foothills, dry deserts, and canyons in dry desert mountain ranges, making Tucson, the Tucson Sonoran Desert the perfect habitat for the Cayeta silk moth. Now, what we ask the question, what do they eat? The food sources for the Cayeta silk moth are ceniza, Mexican jumping bean, and ocotillo plants. Additionally, they also thrive on the purple sage bushes throughout this region. A fun fact about the Cayeta silk moths is that only the caterpillars consume food. This is because once the adult moths come from the cocoons, um, fully grown, they don't have um, working mouth parts, therefore they can't eat food. So only the caterpillars eat um, these plants. To talk specifically about the purple sage, Cayeta caterpillars live on the purple sage plants until they turn into moths. Um, the purple sage is the primary food source for Cayeta caterpillars because one, it is drought tolerant. So because Cayeta caterpillars and moths live in arid regions, this is especially important. It has no thorns, and the flowers grow upright, offering a prime opportunity for cocoon building because they want to choose a place where they can build their cocoons safely and strong. The Cayeta silk, mo silk moths have a few known predators, um, which include raccoons, opossum, and possibly other species of the order of rodentia. These all tend to tear apart the cocoons of the Cayeta silk moth. So, the moth and the caterpillar don't necessarily have any predators, but while the caterpillar is in the cocoon turning into a moth, that is when they're vulnerable to predators, like this opossum right here. Additionally, the Cayeta silk moth has many important adaptations that help it survive in the environment it lives in. There are four notable ones. The first one occurs when the Cayeta caterpillar and moth is a larva. The larva secretes a defensive chemical protection that normally wards off predators. So the opossum we saw in the last slide would not like this smell that the larva secretes, gives off. Um, it's stinky to them, so they wouldn't eat it. However, the only predator this does not fend off is wasps. While the caterpillars are in the cocoon turning into moths, Cayeta moths often spend up to two years in a cocoon waiting for perfect conditions. Um, this is because um, weather, climate, and environmental factors have extreme impact on the Cayeta moth's survival. Additionally, something we've already talked about is the color of the Cayeta moth. They have dark wings. They're black, gray, red, and dark green. All of these are dark colors, which is helpful because it helps them camouflage at night while they're active. Additionally, we've already also talked about how adult Cayeta moths have no working mouth parts, no teeth, no lips, no tongue, um, which puts a focus on the speed of reproduction. This is because the adults don't have time to eat or the ability to eat, so all of their energy is focused on reproduction for the next generation of Cayeta silk moths. Finally, it's important to recognize what Cayeta silk moths and biodiversity have in common. Remember that purple sage is the most important plant to Cayeta silk moths. Purple sage is a native species of grass to the Sonoran Desert and the southwestern United States. Because there are so many is issues with invasive species in this region, the pollination and teamwork between purple sage and this moth are essential to prevent invasive species. One of the most notable of these invasive species is buffalo grass. 
In Tucson, we can see buffalo grass everywhere. It has taken over the Sonoran Desert and it actually causes an increased risk of wildfire in the desert. So the conservation of Cayeta moths and purple sage is really important because it helps prevent buffalo grass from spreading even further and prevents more and more fires. And that was my presentation on the Cayeta silk moth. I hope you guys had a great job, li great time listening, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye! Welcome to my presentation on the Cayeta silk moth. My name is Peyton Smith, and I hope you enjoy. Here we can see an image of the beautiful Cayeta silk moth. Its wings are very large, and it has the traditional fuzzy, spiky antenna of all silk moths. It is also